I'm going to spend the next few lectures talking about audio within Flash. And I'll start off here by opening up a blank file, actually, and we'll um, just add audio to the timeline. Then after I do that, we'll work with Flash uh, imported from the library and using it with a uh, script that imports it from the library as we would import from a movie clip. And then after that, I'll talk about loading from external sounds, uh, external files. So here I have open the sound1.fla file that comes in your examples. We have two layers in here, actions and visual content. We have some actions here. It's really simple actions that import it from the library. But I wanted to show you how to just import it and use it on the stage. And this is what's used in, usually it's used for sequential animation. Um, and if you're going to uh, export content to video. So let me come on over here and create a new file. So I'll just go new. A blank one is fine, and I just put sounds on the first layer, make another layer with content, and then one more layer with just actions, and that'll go on my top. I usually put that on the top. Oops, captions, actions. There we go, and I'll drag that up. All right, now I want to add an audio, so I'll just bring over an audio from the Sound One FLA, and just as an FYI, you can actually um, import content from other libraries. So you could, you could go up and go file open, and you can open a, uh, a file just as a library. So you could open up any FLA library that you want and access that content. If you have the documents already open within Flash, and you have multiple documents, multiple tabs here, then you can certainly just go on over and copy. And you just right click and copy, or uh, select it and do control C and copy it into your library that way. Or the other way I want to show you is you can go to the library. Let me grab that again. Got that all mixed up. There we are. And come on up here and select this. And then you can go into the FLA. And in that FLA, you'll see that there is um, there's the, the file. So I can copy that and paste that. Come back here and paste. Or I could just take it and drag it out to the stage. And now when I go back to my library, it should be there. There we go. So I'm going to push this off to the side, come on up here. And since I dragged that audio to the stage, it should appear up as a WAV file, uh, a waveform. There it is. And now um, if I just hit play or enter, I get the audio playing. Cool. Now it's on, actually on the, the wrong layer. So I'm going to select my actions layer and come over to property. I'm going to take it off. You can access the uh, sounds through the property window. So I take that off, go to the sounds layer, click that keyframe, and now open that up. And as long as it's in the library, it will show up here in your property window. And then there's some other type of things for syncing. Uh, there's different ways to sync it. I'm not going to get into that right now. But just note that the simple way to add it in is to just drag it to the stage or click the keyframe and reference it to your property window. And it shows up. And let me um, go ahead and test it here. What I'm going to do is add a stop action, and so it won't keep repeating. Now if I push that actions off to the side, and I test it, and it plays once. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Let me give one other thing a test. If you do put it here, uh, let me pull this up here. If you select the frame and select stream, And you may be able to hear this. It's actually, you can scrub and hear the audio in stream mode. So that is one difference that I think I, is important to point out. You put this back to event, and then when you scrub, you won't hear the audio. So there's a slight difference there. And there's a few other things too, but that's the primary. Okay, so that's it for now. The next lecture, I'll talk about importing from the library.